Hello everyone, welcome back to Max Bane. Down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided. Jeez. Damn. The place was swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could bite me, Giovanna and Marcella were still alive. But I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was... I'd heard about these raids. Renathugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still... Damn it. Wrong button. Again. Still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Chef. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. Go fast, yeah, they were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? <laughs> as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I 
decided I might as well follow them. I was lost, and they were going somewhere. And it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcello and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never receive. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcello. What the hell were they about to do to him? I forgot his name, the dude's name. Why did they do that to Marcelo? It's the legendary gang way of killing people. Is it not an ordinary street gang? I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Oi, o americano. Oi? Oi? He's been away from the death of his friend. O americano é um zelote, porra do caralho. There. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths. Don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Desperte e procure por toda parte. Temos que achar a menina do americano também.
gone. I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We're just gonna lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcello thinking going in there by themselves? I guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey. If we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. Well done. Giovanna. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! So, there must be a way to drop those stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. Should we wait here for bosses? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Just jump through that window. Shh. Jesus, what this game? Who made this game? Oh, whoever did, he was a moron.
condições, sua putinha de merda! Minha condolência pra sua família! Before? Of course I haven't. You ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's driver shoot, sister. And right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, we can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word. I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. We can do this. Ready? Go. <laughs> Keep us straight. of drive out there. Ah, we gotta get out of here. Quick. Son of a bitch. Quick. Come on. Giovanna, go. I need you to get up to the roof of this building and get the passengers. Tell them to wait for me. Now go. Jump. Go.
was just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. just flew off on me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved this girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. No, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a Thank woman. Thank all for watching. I didn't know what to say. I will see I had been so loaded in Panama, episode. I could scarcely remember my love own life. name. I, I know things had gotten bye bye. really heavy.